Holter monitoring is ambulatory monitoring using a digital recorder attached to a belt. Two or three channels are usually recorded with an appropriate number of patch electrodes attached to the chest. 12 channel Holter monitoring can also be done using standard lead placement. Holter monitoring is usually done when an arrhythmia is suspected though ischemic ST segment deviation can also be picked up by Holter. Dangerous signs to look for on a Holter tracing are life-threatening bradyarrhythmias and tachyarrhythmias. Dangerous bradyarrhythmias are long pauses or episodes of complete heart block with low ventricular rate. Both these may present with recurrent syncope or dizziness. Dangerous tachyarrhythmias are ventricular tachycardias and ventricular fibrillation. Complex ventricular ectopy and frequent ventricular ectopy may also be forerunners of ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation. Bidirectional ventricular ectopy suggests the possibility of bidirectional ventricular tachycardia as in catecholaminergic polymorphic ventricular tachycardia and Anderson syndrome. Digoxin toxicity is another cause of bidirectional ventricular tachycardia. Bradycardia can also predispose to tachyarrhythmias. Complete heart block with QT prolongation can precipitate polymorphic ventricular tachycardia known as torsa de points. QT prolongation may be detected on Holter monitoring preceding episodes of torsades. Leclerc and Associates analyzed Holter recordings of sudden death due to ventricular fibrillation in 62 cases. There were 13 deaths due to torsades in those without coronary artery disease. They were related to quinidine-like drugs or hypokalemia. The torsades were initiated by long RR interval due to a post-ectopic pause. A progressive decrease in mean heart rate during the preceding 3 hours was also noted. The ectopic beat initiating the VT or VF had a coupling interval which was shorter than the shortest value documented before that. So it was the prematurity of the ectopic beat which was ominous. The prematurity index which is the quotient obtained by dividing coupling interval with the preceding RR interval was lower in primary VF than in VT leading to VF. In the last hour preceding the VF, higher heart rate was also noted reflecting an increased sympathetic tone. Here is a long pause. Tracing of complete heart block with AV dissociation and PEP interval shorter than the RR interval. Strip of ventricular tachycardia. Ventricular fibrillation, the most dangerous arrhythmia. Complex ventricular ectopy, including bidirectional ectopics. Here are the references. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.